Hey y'all, <laughs> it is Wednesday. How about that? We don't have to get up on those <laughs> deck boards anymore. Well, I got it pulled out there for now. I'll show you in a minute here. Let me get down off my step. Oh, I'm having trouble with my hips. Um, well, my one hip anyway. Um, yeah, I took those and set them right there. And I know it looks like it's racking a little bit, but got a toe chain. I put a big eye hook in there. And it didn't take a whole lot of effort. It was just kind of it been there sitting so long, you know, kind of had settled down in, the tires did. Took a little bit of pulling. I tried with the rope first and it broke the rope. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice day. Beautiful, sunny, in the 60s. It's supposed to be in the 40s tonight. Perfect for me. <laughs> That's what I think. Perfect. Wish it was like this all the time. Got my plants back out of the shed. Uncovered everything. Got some radishes out of the garden. After I uncovered them again. They're getting huge. That's awesome. Can't wait to make some kimchi. Some of my radishes, that's what I got them planted for. They're the ones that get real big. Like the Korean one and the uh, Japanese one. And I don't really know where they actually came from, but I just know where I buy them. When I buy them, what they say at the, at the store, you know. Well, I still got one pot up there in the shed. It is my bromeliad. My mom gave me a piece years ago, and I've just kept it. It keeps multiplying. I need to do something with it because that it has outgrown that pot. It's just, I bet, total roots, solid roots when I pull it out of that pot. I hope I don't have to break that pot. It's clay, so, ooh. All right, so, got that, because I, you know, I used it to get my stove inside of there. Now, the next thing is to get the freezer. That's what I built this thing for, was to be able to move stuff back and forth and have a deck that I could move. Well, that sure did rack. I think I've also found that, um, I hope that tire ain't flat over there. I noticed that the center is kind of sway back. <laughs> I might need to get a couple more of these tires. Let me see. Yeah. I guess it could use some air probably. I don't know, it's, this thing must really be heavy. No, it really sinks it down in the dirt. Well, I know. I'm going to place the end board here. I cut that out so that I could hook them um, onto it so that I wouldn't end up, you know, sliding or something and hurting myself or him hurting himself. And some of these, the six inch ones, um, I'm gonna use to build that platform. I had been, I had wanted to make it like a deck across like that with steps down over there or going around the corner even under that cover. I thought about putting a door inside under cover so I can just pull up there and put my groceries out and you know carry them in there but once I get the carport cleared um, 
and get my kitchen in because it's going to be you know more toward the front so kitchen dining uh you know up that in that in there uh and get that mulch out of the front and move my gate <laughs> i'd hell to pull up under that carport one of these days it's coming it's kind of slow doing everything yourself and paying for it as you go so be different if i took out a, a loan or something but i've got little short-term loans but i don't want a mortgage on this property so i'm just rattling on i guess i just wanted to document this i'm gonna get those bars down off of there and go back to the first plan I had with it, um, which it was those, um, if you can see them over there, I don't know if you can see them, I got them up on the porch, those, I spray painted them green, it was some PVC that had been, it's the, I think 80, schedule 80, it's the thin wall, and it was buried up on with grass growing over it on the sides of the house and the shed not this shed this is i put this here but that shed that was here that brick shed it's on the other side a bunch of it anyway i i that i was gonna put it up you know or use over and then the uh, one long piece will go down the center of it to keep the plastic from just falling in and I could put shade cloth during the summer I could put some plastic over it I could even use this for like a little greenhouse it's got a lot of uses I'm so ha tickled I built it those wheels I got them at um, Harbor Freight I'm trying to think when. I think it was 2021. I think they were like 15.98 each. They are some real good wheels. Ball bearing, swivel. They're air tires. That I'm not sure I like, but um, I got these posts where I can take them off of there. So I now that it's you know been built at flipping it on its side would be a I'd have to have uh, a help but I could put two more wheels in the center and then I might go ahead and put them jack things on it I don't know I can jack it up with my car with my floor jack if, if I gotta change a tire I mean I don't want to think about that <laughs> Once I get this trailer moved out of here um, and move stuff around, it'll have served its purpose as far as being mobile. It might become stationary and the wheels might come off. You never know <laughs> what it's going to, the future might bring. That's all I got to say right now. Thanks for watching. If you're still with me, oh, now, what in the world? Now, you know, oh, I know what that is. Never mind. <laughs> That's just, I pulled that out from over there and threw it. Just some grass. I went up through this. This stuff's real good for killing off your grass. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Yeah, it really sinks down though okay y'all thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed i hope you will and like and comment appreciate it it's all for now bye